so we're here at about mile 30 on the Green River and uh, just left Anderson Bottom heading towards the confluence of the Colorado and one thing you'll see up and down across this whole area is tons and tons well first there's a lot of riparian vegetation but a good proportion of that most of this around us right now is um, non-native tamarisk and this stuff is spread up and down the Colorado watershed and one of the most one of the interesting things you can't so much see it right here but we've been seeing it patches up and down. Actually, you can see some right behind me right here. Uh, so a couple years ago, one of the county, Grand County, Utah, the county that is uh, encompasses um, Moab and, and uh, canyon lands and arches, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the ag officer basically went and got some uh, biocontrol, essentially, some beetles and released these beetles. And so uh, this was sort of, it sounds like an unplanned uh, un un unsanctioned uh, biocontrol effort, but we're starting to see a lot of burn, a lot of um, a lot of dead tamarisk. And in some areas we found it looks like a fire has gone through. We have whole stands that are just totally new. It seems like it might be related a bit to how much sun and, and shade it gets. There seems to be maybe a pattern to that. But in any event, um, this is a, a, an example of a control tool that is available and uh, uh, if you don't have um, the regulatory restrictions, people can do whatever they like. And in talking with uh, the head river ranger here for Canyonlands National Park, he reported that one group of scouts uh, that was down here a few years ago, or a few months ago, I think, um, were, were going around scooping up these green beetles, these these beetles that attack the tamarisk, and, uh, and scooping them up to take them back to their home area uh, elsewhere in Utah to release them so they could uh, hopefully uh, get the tamarisk kind of control there, but again, uh, an understandable, understandable effort. But until we fully know the the outcome of releasing some of these biocontrol agents, it's it's maybe not the best thing. So we're experimenting with some of these in California, but uh, this is this is a, a pretty large, I guess I would call it uncontrolled experiment to control this massive invader that causes all kinds of problems here on, in the Colorado River and the Colorado River's tributaries, in this case, in the Green River in Utah.